Hi. Welcome. I know why you're here, and it's not to learn calculus. It's to join me in the simultaneous sip. So if you have your coffee ready, please join me. The question we're working on today is, at noon, ship A is 100 kilometers west of ship B. Ship A is sailing south at 35 kilometers per hour, and ship B is sailing north at 25 kilometers per hour. How fast is the distance between the ships changing at 4 p.m.? So we should start this problem by sketching a picture. Let's take this to be where boat A starts, so maybe 0, 0. And boat A is sailing south. Um, so we'll say it ends at the point 0, comma A. Boat B is 100 kilometers to the east, so we'll mark it out here. That's the point 100, 0. And boat B is traveling north and ends at the point 100, comma, B. So the question asks us to find um, how fast the distance between the ships is changing. So we should find the distance between the ships. That's the length of this line here. Okay, and to find this length, which we'll call Z, we can figure out the length of this leg and this leg uh, of a right triangle. So this length is 100. And it turns out that this length here, from top to bottom, uh, is B minus A. So you could pause this video if you want to think about why B minus A is the length uh, of this uh, leg here. So we could relate Z, B, and A by the equation Z squared equals 100 squared plus B minus A. squared. So we are given some uh, other information in the question. We were told that ship A is sailing south at 35 kilometers an hour. So that says that dA dt is equal to, we'll say south is the negative direction, so negative 35. And we were told that ship B is sailing north at 25 kilometers an hour. And what we want to find we want to find dz uh, dt. Okay, so what we could do is we could take our equation here and take the derivative of both sides with respect to time and then we'll plug in all the information we have. It's going to turn out that we might need to still discover some more information. Um, but let's do this. So 2z dz dt. Now notice here my 2 and my z look very similar and that's why I cross my z's. Okay, uh, Is equal to, well the derivative of 100 squared, that's 0. The derivative of b minus a squared, you see we bring the 2 in front, b minus a, and then we multiply by the derivative of the inside which is db dt minus da uh, dt. Okay, so what we need to figure out is we need to figure out z, we need to figure out b, and we need to figure out a. So again, pause the video, see if you can think about how we'll find those values. Uh, if not, I'll tell you how to do it in a second. So to figure out what the values of a and b are, we're going to have to go back to our question and see that our ship has been traveling for four hours, right? Because we started at noon and we ended at 4 p.m. So A, well, ship A is going south at 35 kilometers per hour. So it's minus 35 uh, times 4, which is equal to minus 140. 
and B, ship B is going north at 25 kilometers an hour, so 25 times the four hours, and that gives us 100, okay? And now Z, well, Z squared is equal to 100 squared plus B minus A squared. We could take the square root of both sides and get Z is equal to the square root of 100 squared plus B minus A. So 100 minus negative 140, that's 240 squared. And so Z is equal to the square root of 67,600. We now have all the information we need to solve this problem. So we'll take our equation up here, bring it down here. Um, we had 2z dz uh, dt is equal to 2b minus a times db dt minus da dt. Cross out the twos and we have dz dt is equal to b minus a times db dt minus da dt all over z which is equal to well b minus a is 240 db dt was 25 da dt was negative 35 so times 60 all over the square root of 67,000 600. And that's the solution. Well, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Don't text and drive. Bye-bye.